anwaiguru lakini kabla hapo hebu tutazame mahojiano aliyofanya jana marehemu wa Homega Koro alipokuwa akifanywa mahojiano katika Kitchen News na mwenzangu Betty Chalo kuhusu mipangilio yake ya kuendeleza mbele kaunti ya Nyeri na Kenya haswa katika kufufua huduma za reli tazama well, Nyeri and uh, the whole of uh, Mount Kenya going to Nanyuki um, we, we are very keen to to all souls to start to benefit uh, from the standard gauge railway. Uh, you know, it used to be something that um, was uh, part and parcel of our communities. Every day there would be trains going up to Nanyuki and others going down. And that, that basically is what we want to get to come back. Uh, of, of course, railway transport is far cheaper for traders, for business community, for manufacturing, whatever is coming from here for, for our produce to go to, to Nairobi. And because the standard gauge railway is actually much faster now uh, than uh, the old one mit, uh, the meter gauge railway, uh, we want to benefit from that. And that's uh, basically we are preparing uh, to, to, to get this done. So actually, uh, just a small correction, Betty. You remember when Mishuki became Minister for Transport, uh, 2010, uh, the railway actually worked for a while, then, and then it went down again. And um, I'm sure the business case for it is just like uh, the business case for the standard gauge railway going to Mombasa. It's exactly the same thing. We get manufactured stuff coming up from Nairobi and from Thika, uh, and then we get uh, farm produce going down, whether it is whatever it is that you can think about, our coffee, our tea, um, and we get to move people, we get to move livestock. And there are quite a couple of companies uh, as you move, move up. And we are not stopping at Nanyuki now. We want to take it all the way to Isioro so we can connect to the Lapset corridor that is being prepped also. Uh, and then, of course, from there up to Ethiopia and then, and then southern Sudan. And uh, all that wealth that uh, is uh, to the north of Kenya um, will really then to start to kick in. We want to be a key part of to play in, in, that, in that space uh, as we open up the, the node in, in Isioro. Uh, and of course, you also know that we have a, a new airport in Isioro, so we also want to connect our people to that airport, which is international, then we can uh, also get to benefit uh, from it. Actually, you know, uh, the return on investment on a real project of this nature is uh, much, much higher than even doing a, a road. If you remember, Betty, the thicker superhighway cost went up to uh, more than 30 billion shillings. Initially, you know, budgeted for 20 billion, but it went up to 30, <coughs> slightly higher than that. Uh, and this is a very small investment uh, at the national level. Um, what we, are, we want to do is to get the railway as it is to, you know, come back uh, into life. Uh, and then we do the bigger project, uh, take it up to Nanyuki as a standard gauge railway and on, then on to uh, Isioro. It's a very small cost. It's the percentage to the kind of national budget we have is really small. Uh, and, and, and this region has really contributed to the national uh, budget. Uh, I think uh, we, we also are asking for a little bit uh, of uh, our own and, uh, right to development uh, for this region. It's a very small we are actually looking for from the national government. Well, we know how long it will take once we start to, you know, work on it. Uh, to get to revive the railway as is, the one meter gauge, that is uh, an assignment because it's just portions of it that are, you know, dilapidated or washed away by rains or floods or cut off because somebody came and put tarmac on top of the railway uh, as it crosses the highways. That assignment, we are informed by Kenya Railways that it will take between four months to six months to get it uh, back uh, running. But in terms of, you know, then doing the bigger standard gauge railway, I think that will take a little bit more time. The technical experts, expertise on this is uh, with Kenya Railways, but what they have informed us, we should be able to get this thing done in six months. What we are waiting as governors of the region, I bet he is to have a meeting in uh, two weeks or so with the minister in charge, Bonamacharya, in charge of uh, infrastructure, so that we can have uh, further discussions in terms of how we go forward to implement uh, this, this project. Maybe just to point out, I was the founding director of Vision 2030, and some of these things that you're getting to see are things that we were discussing way back in 2006, and we want to open up the whole country for development. If you draw a line parallel to the equator through Kitale, 60% of the country lies to the north. 
And all that we are asking for is can we bring 60% that is lying to the north of uh, Nanyuki, uh, you know, into the economic mainstream of this country. We just want to open up the country. And we, we actually personally, because having worked at uh, the level at which I worked in this country, I want us to develop this country together, all of it, every single corner, so that then the infrastructure projects that we're doing this are in the Vision 2030, we call them the enablers for development. And every part of this country matters, from Karachu to Karatina, where we are in Nyeri, uh, every part of this country is important. And we want to open it up from Lokichogio to Likoni. And, and that, that's the way we're thinking, Betty, uh, that we want to move. Yeah. Na mtazamaji ni mahojiano ya jana tu hayo na gavana huyo marehemu daktari gavana wa Homega Kuru akihojiwa na mwenzangu Betty Chalo hapa kwenye runinga ya KT News. Kweli inasemekana kwamba maisha mwanadamu ni kama maua leo yanachanua kesho yananyauka na ndio maana leo tuna zungumzia mauko yake ambayo yametokea asubuhi ya leo kufuatia ajali ya barabarani na kati ya wale ambao wametuma risala zao za rambi rambi kwa mwenda zake ama familia mwenda zake jamaa na marafiki ni pamoja na rais Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye